I want to do that. So now if we go to the side, we will see the new form, but I miss one thing. So now I will show what I miss. There is three mode design plus code is split design only design and the code is only code here there is two list so you have to hide the existing one because otherwise it will show both if you go to the web part properties layout press hidden and press ok save again now it should be available refresh the site create a new form okay the due date and start date is vanished not vanished hidden so if i create a new task it should custom task one in progress good the task has been created if i go to the edit page it should uh, be there now you can update okay before pressing this one i want to tell you this is edit form dot xpx remember i will tell you later why i said this okay now i show i have shown you that how you can customize your edit page how you can hide your field i think you are also able to more customization because you are dotnet expert just kidding anyway i will show you how to create a different form for example let close this one check in okay if i open this form if i put save as okay let's uh, tell one another thing if uh, you do one customization in one form and if you try to save uh, in another form then it will not find the exact location it miss the location for this you have to close the sharepoint uh, designer and open it again reopen again then uh, you will find the exact location to save your different edit page for example if i try to save now then it should work i hope okay if i now press save as for example edit form 1 save okay it should be there so you have the another defined form and uh, you can customize this let's hide this uh, not hide let's create another uh, custom list form and in this case this will be edit page remember for the display it will be display but for this case it will be edit because it is a edit form so now it is rendering the all field according to the form okay for example from uh, in the custom page we will hide uh, the description for example is the same way if we go to the description okay here it is okay I was copied before so if I save this and uh, I have to hide the previous one the built-in control upper weapon properties hidden true okay okay now I should have a new edit form but before that you have to check that it call the existing edit form or by watching up the properties and then list properties then supporting files and see and from here you can uh, change your uh, form by assigning 
for example in our case the previous one was uh, edit form so you can change again okay save if I check in the browser then I should have a different edit form redirection so if I edit this one okay description field has been hidden so if I check a little bit that it worked fine or not okay okay it is working fine so in this way you can make a different edit form and uh, maybe you can assign different edit form for different user in for this you have to do more customization but this is the basic way to making a different form because first you have to create a different form then it's uh, time to redirect because if you cannot make a different edit form which bind with the same list you cannot link with the different form okay so I showed you show I have shown you the diff, uh, two edit form and uh, different edit form and uh, how to customize the new edit form in this way you can customize uh, the CSS or other for uh, like uh, editing dot uh, net ASP dot net page okay here you can also add uh, another column but uh, if you add uh, another column this will not be available because yeah uh, there is a little reason because if I create feedback And if I, it should be here according to the previous uh, task list, but it is not here because the reason is this is not the built in list web part. It is a customized web part, but because when I create another customized web part, it doesn't have the column, it didn't have the this column, feedback column on that time. So if you have some possibility to add new column you have to add it before creating a custom uh, new form dot spx uh, or new web part custom list web part and then it will be available for example if i again open this one and if uh, if i create uh, another one if I render and again then it should be available for example for example if I select this one and insert another one I will just insert I will do not the whole operation just to show you okay new form just uh, see that you will see the feedback here okay here you can see is the feedback here okay understand I think uh, you will understand better than me okay so in this way you have can customize your new form.xpx and also edit form.xpx and also creating different edit form or different new form and also display form and uh, you should enjoy more customization in SharePoint list and thank you to watch this lesson and bye